Well, greetings. <laughs> Queen Mean Jean here. And, um, new wig. This wig look crazy, though, because it's all... But that's how it comes, let me tell y'all. All right, so a lot's been going on. <clears throat> a lot. Like, I was sick. I'm still kind of overcoming that. Um, I didn't have my phone. I had to, like, I have iPhone, and I had to use this Android for a while because Sprint kept my phone unlocked. Ridiculous. So I've been trying to get videos. It. I'm just glad I'm back, honey. I'm just glad I'm back. So <clears throat> let's start. Um, so I went shopping at samsbeauty.com to get some more wigs. I usually do get my wigs from there. I've only purchased synthetic wigs thus far. I do eventually want to get a human full lace wig eventually okay but I haven't been able to but this one let's see um, what's going on with this one so I just put this on because I had to run out real quick but this one is called hold on oh here's that thing so this is how it's supposed to look it's supposed to look all puffy like that um, but you can flat earn it I believe this high temperature fiber is great for styling just like human hair. Works well with conventional curling urns. So I can um, flat iron this, but I don't even have a flat iron. And when I did, it was borrowed. So that's something I have to invest in. But yeah, so this one is, what's the name of it? Style. I think this is what it's called. H-T-F-E. I think this is the name right here. H-T-T-F-E. And when I do style it, maybe I'll do a separate video on it, like for each wig or something. I don't know. I bought four more wigs. And I went to Target, got some stuff. Okay, so let's start with the wigs. Let's keep this nice and in order. But I don't got nowhere to be and nobody to see. So I got all day. Okay, so this is another one. So I, I was getting the straight blacks, but... I decided I wanted some curly, some boom boom, like something. Because when I had that crochet style, I just really loved it. I loved the way I looked. I loved it with the big hair and stuff like my face, the way it franked my face. So I'm excited to try this one. The style is magic like, oh, it's number 86, ML86. Is there actual names for these things? Anyway, it's um, <clears throat> quick and easy, iron, flat iron safe up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit safe up to 360 degrees Fahrenheit and this is what this one looks like so it'll be like a curly but long I want it length so I can't wait to try that on and this is lace front of course so you know <laughs> so yeah I'm excited about this one I'll do a separate video and when I'm poofing it out because I know it, it, it looks coily but yeah it looks like real it don't look as coily, but it definitely has some waves in it, as you can see. So, good times. Okay, the next one we have is Wonder Girl Color 1. Um, the reason I got this is not only is it a... It says drop, drawstring full cap. Um... Not only is it a wig, but it's a ponytail, okay? So, it's a drawstring on it. So, when I don't want to wear my, like, whole wig and I just want to do a ponytail, something simple, I'm excited because I could throw this and it has some length to it because I like having length to me, to my hair. So, yeah, so I'm excited to do um, a separate video on that one as well. And then we have <coughs> the, um... Big Beautiful Hair for a Kinky Lace Front by Ultra. So, yes. And then I'll be giving you pricing information and getting into more detail later on. But, yeah, that's what we have. Okay, so, yes. And actually, I know I usually record in my kitchen, but I actually have a desk now. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. I have a desk, so that's wonderful for me. Okay, so... I usually use, okay, I okay, lashes, let's talk lashes, so I was using um, 
and just some regular little flimsy lashes when I started. Um, where did I get them from? I think my si little sister gave me some. My first pair, I think my little sister gave me, and then my friend put me on the House of Lashes lashes, and I just see the difference in the quality immediately. Like, it was amazing. Um, it's all about the thickness of the strip because like the flimsy ones are just so annoying um the cheap ones are so annoying uh and you could tell that you can't go backwards i mean i was cool with the flimsy ones when i thought that's all there were but once you get to that quality one uh -uh, you can't go back so i got these from target um i couldn't make well sephora I, I think uh, she got them from Sephora, but you can probably get them from Ulta too, the uh, House of Lashes lashes. Those are like $7 lashes when you know you can get, like I ordered a whole bunch of lashes on AliExpress for like $4 or it was like $3 really. And um, they were too flimsy. So these I paid 7 almost $8 for these. Ridiculous, but they're cute. I have them on right now. Let's see, we, we can do a little close up. Uh -huh. So yeah. But I, um, <laughs> you know how you put their lashes on and you don't even know, like, when you're putting them on a the mirror, that's why they say you should use the little mirror and look down because when I got out and into the streets, when I went outside, um, I noticed there's like a big, um, space between those. So I got to like move them downward, my lashes, before I leave back out. It's, it's a lot of work. I'm telling you. But anyway, uh, it comes with a glue. I didn't know it did because I end up also buying a glue from Target. The Duo Strip Adhesive Glue is, they claim it's the world's number one adhesive. Now, I can't tell you. I know I paid $6 for some lash glue. I should have just waited to go to the hair store. But, and I didn't know this came with the glue. Does it even say it on here? No, it doesn't say on the front, so I just assumed it didn't. <clears throat> it don't say it includes glue on here. And if it does, it's not like eye-catching to where it's like, oh, it includes glue. So, oh well. Okay, so I also purchased, this is from Sam's Beauty, Beauty not from <laughs> Sam's Booty. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is from Sam's Beauty, not from uh, Target. I know I'm going out of order, but I you know how that goes. Um, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to take this wig off until I can do something with it. Because I can't be out in these streets like this. I might have to change my wig or put on one of my old wigs for now. Because I don't know if I have time to do this tutorial before I have to... Oh, actually, I kind of like it over the shoulder. Maybe I can finesse something, but I don't know. Anyway, this is the... I love Milani... <sighs> I love their matte lipsticks. I should. I don't think I got none on me right now. No. But their matte lipsticks are amazing. Target. They had a full stock of the Milani matte lipsticks. But you know the, the liquid ones. you The ones that come in a tube and you know you use the little wand. This is just like a traditional lipstick. I like the ones where you can like, you know, it comes with the wand and those are my best. Um, they didn't have my red one. I've been searching for it. And I guess I got to go to Ulta or Sephora. But anyway, this is the Milani 33 Rose Amore. <sighs> this is what happened, girls. There's this pink lipstick by Glazeware that I always get. It's so pretty. And I like the way it looks on my lips. This one's a little bright. It just is. I'm just going to keep it honest with you. Like... It's bright depending on your look. This lipstick, it's actually, I, I kind of like it. It's, it's kind of growing on me, but at the end of the day, I think it's a little too bright for my liking. Just gotta be honest. Okay, um, another thing from Sam's Beauty. I love cats. Cats are my spirit animal. Um, that's what. Ooh, there's this other uh, cat lipstick I bought, trying to be cute, thinking that the cat was the end-all be-all, because I love cats so much, and I got caught up, and it was, it's okay, but it wasn't what I wanted. Um, 
So this is, this stuff smells so bomb too. I had this on yesterday, just a plain style, no, no lashes. Um, this is called the Perfect Lip Gloss and it's, uh, Meow. That's the color, I think. It says Meow. It smells so good. It smells like the old school lip glosses. Oh, what's that brand name that they used to have? Lip Smackers. It smells like that. But it, it's kind of like a, um, it kind of goes on kind of clear with just a tint. Just a tint of this. I, I would love it to be more pigmented and, and this color show up a little bit more. Because I was thinking of like, a, like a jazzy or nude. But it didn't work out that way. It's crazy how you buy all this stuff and then it's like, uh, it's not even all that. But I like the way it smells and I, I do like it. It's just, I just wish it was a little more pigmented. But let me see if I can swatch it so y'all can see. So... Yeah, I hope y'all can see that. You can't really see it, but it smells delicious. Would I get it again? Probably not. And um, that was interesting. You know what? Because I was shopping on clearance on Sam's Beauty, because that's what I do. And <laughs> I was wondering, is this discontinued because it's so bright and that a lot of women probably aren't wearing it? Who knows? I don't know. I kind of like it to the side like this. <laughs> I like it like that. Okay, um, that's pretty much. No, it's not. Is that it? Oh yeah, I bought another brow pencil, and I bought it from Elf. Now I did do my brows with it today. I got it in the deep brown, and um, it's okay. I could definitely see the difference. And uh, it was hot in there though when I was. It was hot in my bathroom, so. But it's still on, so, and I use my uh, setting spray, so hopefully it'll last, but, um, girl. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and, uh, oh yeah, I know I kind of cut out on a <laughs> vitamin E for removing blemishes video, but, um, yeah. I can't remember I was I was just wanted to go live you know I just I fell into my spirit I'm like let me go live and say something because I'd be wanting to get on here but um yeah vitamin E for blemishes really does work um and I've been using this new serum and it's been keeping my skin clear as freak but I do got a pimple but I think it's from wearing all these bangs like I'm always wearing bangs on my wig so I think it has something to do with that. But besides that, my skin is pretty much clear and free. I use this oil not every day, but at least once a day. So what I put in it is, okay, fill the bottom with coconut and olive oil for your base oils, right? <clears throat> coconut oil and olive oil. Easily found. Some grapeseed oil as well. Not as much. I don't really use portion control. I just know... Um, you know, it depends on how big your container is anyway. But those are your carrier oils. Because you also want to add um, some hojaba, jujaba oil. I always get that wrong. I put some of that in there as well. And that's good for removing makeup and stuff like that. And then I put in two, only two drops of tea tree oil. Because you know when you're using tea tree oil, it's so potent that um, you have to use a carrier oil, such as an olive oil or like a base oil, to make sure it doesn't like tear you up pretty much okay and if you don't want to get tore up I suggest you <laughs> don't do that um, just use it directly on your skin but you'll be okay like I'm considering putting that tea tree oil because I've seen ladies do it directly on this little pimple here so it can go away um, yeah so that's pretty much it y'all um, as far as the beauty or whatever um, yes I'll do another live when I think of another topic but I just wanted to get on here and see you guys well you guys see me and right now I have five subscribers and that's more than one so <laughs> yeah so um thank you I uh, want to definitely do more hauls more videos and stuff and one day I'll have people interacting with me right now I'm zero viewers but I don't want to keep this too long so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video